So who is Verizon? Uh, we're going to go over just quickly Verizon Wireless and who we are. Um, we are America's most reliable network, as you can see with all that beautiful red coverage, uh, covering over 98% of the U.S. population. In addition to Verizon Wireless, on the Northeast we do have cable service, so TV and Internet. And we also are moving into the space, and you've obviously seen this in the news, to 5G, which is two-pronged. There's 5G home, which is also internet service in your house, but there's also 5G mobility. You'll start seeing 5G mobile phones come out, uh, which will allow you to access the 5G network for faster speeds. So I'll pass it to Sid. So with 118 million customers to serve, that translates to huge amounts of data. So when we say big data in Verizon, we really mean it. And to give you a sense, we have about 100 server nodes with 20 plus petabytes of data warehouse capacity. Every single day, more than five terabytes of data gets added to our data warehouses. And in a second, I'll talk about from where does this data get generated in the business. More than two plus petabytes of data is extracted by different analytics and data science teams across the organization to deliver insights. And specifically, from a Tableau perspective, we have a 40 GB on-premise Tableau server on which at any given point of time, we have about 500 GBs of data extracts. So what I want to emphasize on this slide is we at Verizon are huge custodians of big data. And with that, it's a great place to develop a career in data science and analytics. So how does all this data flow? So data gets generated from our digital channels, so all our websites, mobile apps, a whole lot of product engagement. So on the wireline side, we have the home broadband, the Fios TV, our wireless network. Data gets generated from the IoT offerings. And then a lot of data gets generated from the call centers, which is going to be our core focus for the talk today. People call in for sales, service, and tech support. And then on the Fios side, uh, data also gets generated a lot from the dispatch center. So there's actually technician dispatches that go to customers' households to install new services or to maintain the existing services. So all of this data that gets generated is tagged and ingested and transformed and then it's stored in our warehouses and then it's a whole lot of querying and anal analysis done. And this is the quintessential tech stack slide, right? I'm not going to go through each of the tools here, but what I want to emphasize is basically two things. One, Greg has really inculcated a culture of bring your own tool and there's tremendous flexibility with respect to that. You know, another thing that makes it pretty enticing to be working for such a team and, and building a career in uh, analytics and data science. And number two, in the visualization and reporting layer, Tableau Desktop and Tableau Server are our uh, primary visualization tools through which we distribute insights uh, across the organization to different operations managers and business transformation teams and product managers, marketing managers, even software engineers, and the top line executives who set the direction of the business. So our dashboards are used by stakeholders on the front lines of the business and also the executive leadership. Now, to give you like a sense of our Tableau implementation, this, this slide just caters to one Tableau server site. So in customer service operations, we have the contact analytics team, and uh, we have a dedicated server site for the contact analytics team. And for this one site only, we have about 710 dashboard tabs catering to more than 4,800 users. And that has generated more than 215,000 views. For folks who are confused, this is not our YouTube channel. This is uh, one single Tableau server site. So that's the kind of viewership we get uh, from one site. You know? And when you look at the demand side, right? so we have more than 4,800 users demanding insights and analytics. But on the supply side, we have 16 publishers. So if you look at the publisher to uh, the number of users they're catering to, that kind of a ratio, it's like one publisher is to 300 stakeholders. So we are a lean team, but a high impact team. And the way we are able to manage that is through continuously trying to provide a best-in-class user experience. We think a lot about creating a highly engaging and a sticky environment so that we can cater the best way possible with respect to delivering insights to stakeholders across the business. And to just give you an example, right, this second number that uh, I am super proud of is our average load time in seconds. So we are at 4.18 seconds compared to an industry average of about seven to eight seconds for loading the dashboards. And for all of this, I mean, really a big kudos to our Tableau site admin, Jason Dawson. Jason is here with us today, everyone. And so I'd like to give a round of applause. And just to like give an example how he thinks, right? So Jason's built a scoring system for setting up the priorities for data extracts. 
and he factors in how long are the how big are the extracts, right? How long they take to refresh? How many dashboards does it cater to? And how many viewers or how many users are using that dashboard and when? So there's a whole lot of parameters coming together, and he's uh, he's built a priority system, a scoring system, just to give you an example uh, of how we think about building a best-in-class experience there. At any given point of time, so across the Verizon Consumer Group, we looked at 500 GBs of extracts. Our, our team, for one site only, has about 45 GBs of data extracts on the Tableau server. 